Hey guys! It's Lillian, a service canine Rosie. I'm Lillian, I'm a service dog handler, and my service dog's name is Rosie. Welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you are part of this. I am folding socks right now, so if I am not paying attention to the camera, it's because I am folding socks. Um, anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing great. Um, basically, I just want to pop in here and say I am packing because we are going to um, Florida bright and early in the morning tomorrow. Um, and we're going to do a vlog. I don't know how much I'm going to get of like car footage, which obviously I know you guys don't really care about um, because... It, it really, it, it's not that significant. You would rather see us walking around doing PA and stuff. Um, but basically, I wanted to pop right in and make a really, really, really quick video. Um, because I'm packing right now. But basically, um, I'm going down to meet with my, um, one of my best friends in the service dog community. Um, her name is, um, Rachel. All things Rachel. Her service dog Sammy. We already did a meetup with her. Um, in December and I'm actually going and staying with them for a week because it happened to be both of our spring breaks um, and so I'm going to stay with her a week and I'm going to be doing training with her dog Sammy um, and so I'm going to be working with him again um, and kind of working brushing up on some things um, and just giving him some more training because he needs it um, and yeah, so, um, her service dog and training's name is Sammy, like I said, her name is Rachel, if you haven't seen that video, if you want to see our last training vlog I did with them, um, you can go check it out on my channel. Um, if you don't know, um, I actually run my own training company, um, which is in the process of, like, getting started, um, getting all the things ready. I'm still working on getting business licenses and things. Um, but she is technically one of my clients, even though she is a friend because I do training with her dogs, uh, with her dog Sammy and stuff. So I'm going to be going down there, um, specifically to do training and to hang out with her, obviously. Um, but we're going to be doing a lot, a lot of training, um, and a lot of hard work with that. Um, and so... It's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be so much fun because my passion is training dogs. I love training dogs, so I cannot wait to go down there and um, do training and stuff. Alright, well, I'm pretty much all packed. Good morning. <laughs> so we're getting ready.
Here, get on. Rosie, get on. <laughs> that just came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie. Rosie. Okay, you know, get on. Oh, careful. Get on. Go. If you would lay on my leg. Oh, you loving on your mama. <laughs> you loving on your mama. <laughs> so you were giving me kisses earlier. You're that good girl. You were like trampling me with kisses. <laughs> She's all like. She's like, okay, I gotta take a break now. I wore myself out. <laughs> what time are we leaving? Um, like four or something, I think. I'm getting kind of hungry. <laughs> For real. Yeah, I think we're leaving at like 4.30. I ate a little bit ago though, why? Because I was talking to my uncle and I ate. And I, yeah, we went through Taco Bell and I got a little bit of food earlier. I was like, Anne Marie's coming and I'm like, you want her? <laughs> He's like, I watched your video. People don't know, but there's actually a lot of different kinds of service dogs. Yeah. I'm like, I know. You're all nice and educated now. That's great. <laughs> There's probably even some types that we don't even know of. You know? Yeah. Is there a service dog for the deaf? Mm hmm What do they do? Um, basically, they can alert to, like, they can alert someone when their doorbell rings or, like, when somebody knocks at the door. Or if there's, they can alert to like fire alarms, things like that. So like things that they would need to help with. Or like if somebody's talking, they can like go back and forth between them to tell them like who's talking and stuff. Yeah. What do you mean tell them who's talking? Like basically if somebody starts talking, I, I at least what I was aware of, like some dogs are trained to like go to the person that's talking and then come back to their owner a couple times since so that the person, like their owner knows that somebody's talking to them or whatever. Could, do you think you could train something like that? I don't know if I could do that. I mean, possibly, but I don't know. I have never tried that. That's kind of beyond my skill level. Girl, you have a great skill level. <laughs> well, thank you. I am amazing. <laughs> Hi. Oh.
first go in the car, he's horrible. When, after we work together, he's doing really good. Okay, so he's doing pretty close to that, maybe a little bit better. He's had some improvements, so that's definitely a good thing. But he still needs a lot, a lot of work. Because um, he's still, you know, he still fully relies on treats. He's not ready to be weaned off the treats yet. Um, which I was hoping he would be. Um, he can't heal, he's pulling really bad. Um, so we're gonna be working, I'm going to focus mostly, I think, on the heel um, while I'm down here. Um, um, I'm gonna focus mostly on the heel while I'm down here. Um, and that's where,